Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show you what our farm's like in Australia. Let's go. Welcome back to the Russian Guy channel. For those of you that are new here, this channel is about me and my family trying to move from Australia to Russia and start a farm here. And I thought I'd give you a bit of a glimpse back into our history and our farm in Australia. I hope you enjoy. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of history about what we did before we had our farm. So I grew up in Perth, which is the main city of Western Australia. And when I was nine years old, my family and I, we moved out to Central Australia for two years. We ran a roadhouse out there and we were 350 kilometers from our nearest neighbor. It's probably one of the places that really made me start enjoying living in open spaces away from the city. After that, my parents decided that they wanted to buy a farm. So we bought a farm in the southwest of Australia, as you can see here on the map. And this is about 60 kilometers away from our main small city, which is Albany. So the reason my parents bought the farm is because they wanted a better life for our family. A place where as kids we could grow up, have animals around us, grow our own food, have a healthy lifestyle, live away from the hustle and bustle that just consumes your life in the city and just have a good wholesome life. The first building we built on our farm was a little cottage. It wasn't big, it wasn't fancy, but it was just a nice little cozy place that we could live while we built the rest of the infrastructure on our farm. Uh, after the cottage, we built a big shed so we could store a lot of our stuff that we had from our house in the city. And after that big shed, we built our main house. And thankfully God blessed us with lovely grandparents and family. Um, they helped us out a lot as we were getting started on our farm and building stuff. Um, it was really great to be able to spend time with my grandparents there and they were a big help. After we had finished building our house, we started working on the gardens around our house. Um, we built a really big veggie patch so that we could start growing our own food. We built a chicken pen so we could have our own eggs and meat. And as you can see in a lot of these photos, there's a lot of rock walls around our house, for like garden beds. And what we did is we would collect rocks from paddocks um, nearby and then we built these all ourselves. But my mum was the main, uh, the main one who did a lot of the building. And yeah, she was just amazing at it. Uh oh, she's got a Hello. leak. We're not leaking. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Right. It's a leak. There we go. Try it again. It's probably a. Yeah, it's probably a. Um... Go on. Yep, that seems to be on. I think we we'll have to get a new fitting, what do you think? One thing that is quite different about Australia is how we get our water. Uh, not so much in the city because they have um, underground water, like most cities in the world, um, but in the country, uh, we actually collect rainwater off our roofs because uh, we can't get it out of the ground because Australia is a very dry country. In a lot of places, the groundwater, it's not there, or if it is there, it's quite often salty. So on our farm, uh, we collected rainwater off our roof and we stored it in a really big tank. Uh, they're made out of steel and they have a big liner on the inside to make them waterproof. 
Um, an interesting fact is I actually worked building these tanks for a couple of years. Um, yeah, it was really fun work. So we used the water in those tanks for uh, drinking water, for showering, the toilets, basically everything you use in the house. Um, for our animals and our gardens, we had a dam on our property. Um, they're very common in Australia. Um, you just have big drains that go along the side of the hill. And as you get a heavy rain and the water starts to run off and it runs into those drains and fills up the dam. And uh, yeah, so that supplied all the water for our animals and our gardens. And yeah, so all the stuff that's not for drinking and human consumption. On our farm, we had a lot of animals. Um, we had a milking cow, a jersey. Um, I would milk this cow every morning. I did it for about nine years until we sold her. Um, so what we would do is in the evening, I would separate the mum and the calf off each other. And then she would uh, wait all night. And in the morning, I would milk her. And then after I milked her, I would let her back out with her calf so that the calf would drink from the mum during the day so we didn't have to bottle feed the calf. Um, yeah, I have a lot of good memories of milking. Um, it was a really good time. We also had beef cows. Um, these are belted Galloways, um, easily distinguished by their um, black and white stripes. Um, they look like Oreos, um, they're quite cute actually. Uh, we also had sheep, uh, chickens for eggs and meat. Uh, we also have dogs. Uh, at the beginning, we had a blue healer, which is an Australian cattle dog. Um, then we got a rottweiler. Um, our family really likes rottweilers. We like their temperament. Um, they're a good guard dog, but they're also a really good family dog. And then later on, my sister also bought uh, a rottweiler. She was really cute also. I also bought myself a horse. I really enjoy horse riding and that sort of activity. Um, I actually like all animals, especially um, dogs and horses. Uh, they'd be my two favorite kind of animals. As a family, we like to live healthy and do things naturally. That's why we had a big veggie garden, so we could grow our own food, we had our own animals. Um, on our farm, we would uh, do our own hay, so we would plow the fields, um, plant seed, chop the hay down, and then bale it ourselves and do it all ourselves so that we knew what our animals were eating so that they were healthy, and then that meant their meat was healthy, so we could be healthy. So for me personally, I really enjoyed growing up on a farm. I think it's a great way for children to be able to grow up. Um, I learned so many things. I can build just about anything with any material, with timber, steel, welding, um, I learnt mechanics, I can drive all sorts of machinery, I learnt how to work with animals and it's given me a lot of opportunities to do stuff. Um, when I was younger I did a lot of things with my dad, uh, I built a fort in a tree, um, it was really fun. Um, I also built a bridge across our river out of old and natural materials. Um, when I was a bit older, I had the opportunity to do a full car restoration um, with a HJ60 
Toyota Land Cruiser, a really iconic uh, car uh, in Australia. And I just did so many things. And for me personally, living on a farm and being in that open space and that freedom is just a great way to grow up. So far, so good. <laughs> so guys, I hope you really enjoyed seeing our farm in Australia. Be sure to check out this link up here to see us searching for new farmland in the Altai Mountains. It's a great video. And also, if you want to follow along in our story, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Um, please comment on this video. I'd really like to know what you guys think about our farm in Australia. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video. And until next time, I'll catch you later.